Hello and welcome to this screencast. We are going to go through setting up a web page for yourselves at reclaimhosting.com. Uh, as you can see, I've gone to this page from a link on our website. And we're just going to follow the steps. This is my first time going through it. I'm going to pretend that I'm just like you going through it. And we'll see how everything goes. So it says here, get started today and take control of your digital identity. And I'm going to click sign up. And then you can see there's an area for students and individuals and faculty and organizations. I am going to pretend that I am a student and I'm going to go through this. So you can see you choose your own domain name, two gigabytes of storage, which is plenty, no limits, world class support, the best. So click sign up. And here is when you want to uh, check your availability. So for example, if I type in William Wolf and dot uh, org, uh, and check the availability, it should tell me uh, that it's already taken. If I typed in you know, billwolf.com, oh, it's already taken. That's why I have williamwolf.org. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one called billwolfsju, um, just because uh, this is a separate account just for me. Yours should really just be your first name or maybe your first initial and your last name, something like that. You don't have to put SJU in there because you won't always be associated with uh, SJU. Um, and I'm going to go through and uh, create this one for, for here. And I'll click Check Availability. Very exciting. Congratulations. It's available. And I'll click Continue. So there are, <clears throat> there's a way to protect that who is, uh, is something that uh, some people can do, can do like a who is search to find out who owns a particular domain. And uh, I recommend, I always recommend doing privacy on that. It's a little bit extra to sign up. If you don't care if somebody knows that who you are um, or where your address is, these kinds of things would be available through who is. So I would I would click that if that if you have that extra seven dollars to do that. Continue. Okay, so here's the twenty five dollar per year plus the seven dollar charge for the who is thirty two uh, dollars <clears throat> total, and I'm just going to put my name in. William. Email address. So here you. All right. Order confirmation. Uh, this looks like this little dashboard. Citing my order number, and then you'll see. And I click here to go to my client area. <clears throat> Great. Um, we are fine. All right, so we can see that everything has been set up. You have your accounts area here. If you want to add another account, your control panel. This is where you do all a lot of the back end work. And you can see that one of the featured uh, applications is a WordPress blog right in here. Uh, this gives you all the information about your site, how much disk space you use and all that stuff. Uh, we're going to go through a bunch of these things at a later time. So I'm going to click on WordPress. That's thinking. Uh, WordPress is an open source application. It tells you a little bit about it, what a live demo is. You can scroll through and read through all that. Uh, but essentially what you want to do is you want to install this application. So install. Um, domain is here. You can just leave this blank. You accept everything. Um, I update to any new version. <clears throat> uh, update the plugins. That's always good. And I'm going to say you scroll down a little bit, you'll get the uh, Bill Wolf's SJU test site.
All right. And you can go through and show your password or generate one administration username. I'm going to change that to Bill Wolf and administrator password. I'll make it fair. They don't like that one. <laughs> uh, still doesn't like it. Oh, you can just. And then up. Then you would click install, which is down below uh, the screen. So click install. And it will process it. Okay, so let's see. Now when you do that, you can click on then go to a new tab, and here it is. Here's your web page. Uh, now this is the theme that can be changed over time, and we're gonna go over a lot of that stuff later on, but you now know that you have a web page that is set up and is ready to be used. Uh, to access the back end of your web page, you would go to uh, whatever you choose for your URL, slash WP admin, and that brings you to the back end of it. Um, where you can do a lot of the, the setting up and, and those kinds of things, okay? Uh, but once you have this, you're where you should be uh, for class on whatever day it's due, I can't remember. And uh, make sure you know the URL and bring that with you to class because we'll, we'll get all those set up. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know.